What would Wanda and Vision's children be like? Do you think they'd be half robot, half human hybrids who wear cute little sweater vests and speak with an accent that soon disappears forever? Well, we might get that answer soon. One division promises to shake up the MCU, but I'm already looking ahead to what comes next, specifically when it comes to Wanda's future children. If the show plays its cards right, it could be a great way to introduce Wiccan and Speed into the MCU, with Wiccan poised to become the most powerful being in existence. How will it happen? Well, let's find out. One division looks to push the MCU into an exciting new direction. Based on the information we know and the all too brief teasers we've seen, it looks like the upcoming Disney Plus show will do something completely different than what we've seen in the MCU so far. My dedicated team of researchers, and by that I mean just myself and my pausing capabilities, have been able to piece together the general narrative for the show. It looks like Wanda's powers have trapped her in some sort of alternate reality, with members of S.W.O.R.D. on the outside trying to get her out. That most likely means that the vision we see here isn't the real vision, but rather a manifestation from Wanda's subconscious. What this means for Vision's future is a bit unclear. Could this new Vision version that Wanda created travel to our reality after the show is over? Or are we going to have to watch Vision die for like the 50th time in the MCU? But as we're all focused on Vision, let's not forget about the other characters in this alternate reality. Mainly, I mean Wanda's children. The trailer actually has a heavy emphasis on children, with the mysterious strangers at the beginning asking them when they're going to have kids, as well as shots of a pregnant Wanda and then the two of them holding babies. Clearly, they're going to be a big factor. So what if WandaVision is leading to both of Wanda's children entering our reality forever? Here's how it could happen. At the end of the show, Wanda is going to have to say goodbye to Vision again. But as the alternate reality breaks and crumbles all around her, the pure energy that was used to create this weird bubble reality funnels itself into a different outlet, meaning Wanda's two fake children. Through some MCU mumbo-jumbo science magic hand-waving, the two children are successfully brought back to our reality at the end, setting up the two heroes for the future of the MCU. Imagine that insane ending. Wanda escapes, thinks she's lost everything, until the two young teen boys suddenly show up calling her mommy. Boom! Bring on season two, baby. But just who are these two kids? Well, in the comics, Wanda's kids are twins by the name of Billy and Tommy. Now, like any comic book characters, they have a convoluted backstory that involves them being separated and not knowing each other's existence until much later in life before they're reunited. But let's forgo all that for story purposes. As a young hero, Billy eventually goes by Wiccan, who has powers similar to his mother that allows him to alter and manipulate reality, but with a bit more of a magic slant that makes him similar to Doctor Strange. The other child becomes the hero's speed, and if you can't guess what his powers are given his family history and his superhero moniker, then I don't know how to help you. But from these two young heroes, it's Wiccan we should keep an eye on, as he has the potential to be the most powerful being in the MCU. I don't even know who you if we follow my theory, and Wiccan is brought into existence by Wanda's fake reality fusing its energy into Wanda's fake children to bring them over to our universe, then it's only natural to assume that Wiccan will be even more powerful than Wanda. Wiccan will be a being of pure mind stone energy remnants. Who knows what type of potential that sort of power has, and it'll only continue to grow as Wiccan gets older. Sure, Speed will be a powerful hero in his own right with the speedster abilities, but it's Wiccan who will have the power to bend reality in exciting new ways. So what could Wiccan and Speed's intro mean for the future? Well, for one, it could lay the seeds for a future Young Avengers movie in the MCU. From a business standpoint, it makes sense for Marvel. Get yourself a team of youngsters that you can lock into contracts for 50 years and then reap those profits. But from a story standpoint, it also makes sense. The Young Avengers has the ability to cover a corner of the MCU that we haven't seen on the big screen yet, and could open up a wide range of new possibilities. Like we already know, Miss Marvel is coming to Disney+. Plus. Why not have Wiccan and Speed join the MCU in WandaVision, and then eventually work up to a Young Avengers show starring Wiccan, Speed, Miss Marvel, and even Kate Bishop? Sounds like something Marvel would do, right? So that's why it's so important that WandaVision introduces Wanda's kids and finds a way to enter them into the MCU as young teens like right now. So come on, WandaVision, don't disappoint me. The future of the Young Avengers depends on it.
Do you think we could see Wiccan in WandaVision? Will we ever see a Young Avengers? Let us know in the comments section down below and be sure to hit that big ol' like and subscribe buttons for more awesome MCU content just like this. Thanks a lot for watching CBR, we'll see you next time.